Hey, so my name is Ben Kranz, and I'm going to be presenting on BPC-157. So let's get into it. Um, so um, it stands for Body Protein Compound 157, and it's a pentadecapeptide. Um, and it has a wide range of effects on the body, but primarily influences the GI tract and its health. Um, so um, it acts through the gut-brain axis, um, and there's a crosstalk between the GI tract and the central nervous system through the vagus nerve. Um, so this is important because it links nervous and emotional complexes to the gut and its health. Um, so BPC-157 can influence cognitive function by actually maintaining the mucous membrane of the GI tract. Um, so here's a little figure showing the gut-brain axis, and, um, and specifically in this figure, it's, it's um, showing the effects um, of the GI on serotonin levels in the brain. Um, so it can regulate the serotonin serotonergic and dopaminergic systems, um, and this is done by stimulating nerve regeneration of damaged neurons. Um, so this is mediated by the EGR1 gene, NAB2, and uh, JAX2 in the brain. So um, the ERG1 gene um, produces a nerve growth factor in the brain, um, and this was specifically tested on um, rat fibroblasts, um, and the NAB2 gene is important um, in both myelination of neurons and gene tra transcription because it controls the length of the poly A tail on the three prime ends of mRNA in the brain. Um, and then JAX2 is important um, for cytokine regulation and immune function, but the um, mechanism still isn't super clear, um, but we know it's important because when it was knocked out in rats, um, they died within the first couple weeks. So um, we know it's important, but we just don't really know how. We also know it's stimulated by BPC-157. BPC um, so these pathways have been linked to increasing the release of serotonin and dopamine in the brain. Um, and this is important because dopamine and serotonin levels drop off as we age. So dopamine and serotonin, a loss of dopamine from aging results in the loss of cognitive and motor function. Um, so by adding BBC-157, we could use this as a possible treatment for Parkinson's disease because we know a loss of dopamine in the basal ganglia um, is a one of the physiological changes in Parkinson's disease. Um, and a loss of serotonin results in the decline of synaptic plasticity and neurogenesis. Um, and this decreases synaptic pruning, which basically is what makes the brain more efficient in aging as it gets rid of um, neural connections that we don't need and strengthens the ones that we use quite often. So therapeutic uses for BPC-157, um, it's effective for repairing lesions in the stomach uh, caused by alcohol, insulin, or NSAIDs. Um, and you know these lesions could result from a damaged microbiota um, and you know just damage to the um, GI tract walls themselves. Um, so it could be used for that. Um, another use is for Parkinson's disease um, because it interacts with the MPTP, which is what causes damage to the dopaminergic regions of the basal ganglia. Um, so by downregulating these, the, the basal ganglia is, is almost saved from these, uh, this damaging protein. Um, also can be used for multiple sclerosis or MS. Um, because it upregulates the NAB2 pathway, which inhibits the demyelination in the brain of rats. Um, and these rats um, were, had induced multiple sclerosis by cuprazone. Um, and it also reduced, the BPC-157 reduced multiple sclerosis symptoms in the rats as well. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. I hope 
um, you learned something and uh, really understood the power of BPC-157. Thank you.